I always thought golf is for old people. What kind of sport it is? Just swing, 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 swing. But nowadays I see more and more young people are picking up golfing. It really makes me wonder, huh, is it really that fun? Ah? And somehow, I thought golf is supposed to be very expensive sport, right? <sighs> so in this video, we're gonna find out what this whole golfing craze is all about and if golf is really that expensive. Let's go. So here's the driving range. For most people, this is where they start golfing. As you can see, the people here are quite chill. You don't need to be dressed in a full golf suit. I mean, I just want to look cool, that's why I'm dressed like that. Once you're here, you just need to look for an empty bay. Then, for 14 ringgit, you'll be able to get 100 balls. Oh yeah, what about clubs? Many of you probably don't have a club yet. All you can do is rent a club from here for only 5 ringgit. Then, you can hit 100 balls and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who do not prefer to be under the sun in the driving range or under the humid condition there, you prefer air conditioning, we can always go for an indoor driving range these days where you can use a golf simulator. So here you are at MST Golf Arena. As you can see, it's really not that expensive. It's about the price of a latte that you can get in any cafe and you get to spend about one hour to one and a half hours hitting a hundred balls. In fact, that's how I started golfing. Now, what's next is you may be thinking about getting some equipment and guess what? These days, equipments are really quite affordable compared to last time. These days, you can get a new set of golf equipment at about thousand plus ringgit onwards and if you prefer to get a used set, it starts at about a few hundred ringgit. After that, if you're really interested interested in golfing and you want to take your game to the next level, here's where you should consider coaching. Because unlike normal sports like badminton or basketball or football where you can just go down into the field and start playing just like that, golfing is a little bit more complicated. Let me tell you why. Firstly, the movement for a proper swing is not some normal movement. You got to swing your hip first, move your legs a little bit here and there. It's really a little bit more complicated lah. So if you want to get your swing correct, you really want to get someone to guide you. For those of you who actually have a friend who is actually playing and can guide you, good for you. You can ask them more questions and ask them to help you with it. But if you're like me, not many of your friends are playing golf and you just want to get started with it and you want to start it right, investing in coaching is perhaps the best investment. So after surveying multiple plays and asking people questions about golf coaching and stuff like that, I chose to do my coaching in MST Golf Lab. And bear in mind, it's not being sponsored. I have to pay for it myself out of my own pocket. And why I choose there is because of one very good reason, technology. So, yeah. this is my coach, Noel Hassan. For many of my viewers here, they actually are not golfers, okay. right? Although some of them are. Mm -hmm. And when I first started golfing as well, there were a lot of advice given to me and there were a lot of choices as well. Mm -hmm. Like, should I buy clubs first? Right. Should I uh, buy equipment? Or should I do coaching first? Uh, ultimately, I came to choose to actually start with coaching. Right. So, uh, do you think that that's a correct step? Or is there any better way to go about it? Right. I think you made the right choice. Okay, because a lot of people actually end up buying a set first and then they find that they don't really want to play. I don't want to play with you anymore. Mm. And then you're already spending maybe what, 5,000 ringgit Ooh. at least? After that you don't want to play and then you just leave it, you chuck it aside or maybe you sell it off. Right. All right? But people who actually get coaching first, they would feel a little bit or maybe try to feel a little bit more comfortable with the game before they actually spend that kind of money. Uh, the choice of taking a coach is actually cheaper than buying a set. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Coach, so one more question is this, right? Uh, maybe can you explain to the people why it's important for beginner golfers to start off with coaching itself? When you talk about the swing techniques, I think the swing techniques are a little bit more detailed. It's not as simple as playing football, but you just need to know. Once you already know it and understand it a little bit from your coach, then it'll be a little bit more easier. That's one. That's true. All right. Number two is, I think another thing that's important is golf etiquette. Those small little stuff make a big difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, this is the place that I do my coaching with Noel, or he coach me lah. <laughs> <laughs> Not I coach him. That's where we learn. That's where that way. <laughs> so I want to show you guys the lab inside there and you guys will immediately know why I chose here. There you go. Alright. Alright. Give it a try. Uh, let's see your first swing. Just give it some zip. Don't be too careful, alright? Here, right? Is where everything is going on. Problem. Alright, what we need to do is we need to get this arm here, your wrist that way. 
So, coach, do you think I'm ready to go to a golf course? Eh? Mm. <laughs> we can get you ready. All right, yeah, let's do ready. it. Let's do it. Coach, I was wondering, what do I need to prepare myself for uh, since the first time I'm going? Okay, we definitely need you to look like a golfer. Okay. So, we're going to start bottom up. Bottom up? Yeah. All right, let's go. I just found this. It looks kind of too big. Let's get him to try. And try this. Huh? Okay. All right. So, coach, I think I've already gotten all the things that I need. Okay. Do you think we are ready to go? All right. Let's do it. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's Good. go. All right. So, are we ready to start? I hope so. Yeah, so today also I brought along two friends to okay. join us in the flight. Ah, even more fun. Yeah, yeah. this is Hui Yan, guys. Hello. And this is Vincent. So, how long have you been playing golf? Mm, probably like a year, but yeah. I've been on and off. La. Vincent, how long have you been playing golf? Wow, more than 20 years, but on and off. Alright, let's go to the golf course, right? Yeah. So this is what we need for the start. We got our glove, golf ball. Golf ball. This is quality. All right. I'm so tired, but I had such a great time just now. The truth is, I never understood the appeal of this game until I started playing it for myself. But after I started it, I understood why people choose to play golf. But before I go into those reasons, I want to address the elephant in the room. Is golf really expensive? I have to say, golf is not cheap. But it is not that expensive. It is much more affordable than I thought. We have talked about driving range where the cost is only 14 ringgit for 100 balls. But when we come to the golf course itself, just now the beautiful golf course that we went was KLGCC, which is one of the highest end golf course around in Malaysia. So naturally, it is more expensive, at least three to 400 ringgit onwards. But there are many affordable golf courses in Klang Valley as well. Some of them only cost 50 ringgit for one game and there are a few of them that cost less than 100 ringgit for one game. So yeah, it's not that cheap but it's actually quite affordable for most people. When it comes to the equipment as well, it comes down to your preference. If you start with used equipment, it'll cost you a few hundred ringgit but if you want to buy a whole new set, it will cost you 1,000 ringgit onward. And along the way, if you find yourself getting much more serious in the game and you want to have more customized equipment, you can always go for club fitting where they will customize each of those golf clubs according to your swing so that you can perform at your best. First off, I always have this perception that golfing is actually for old people. You know, people just swing, swing, swing like that. How tiring can it be, right? But go and try to hit 100 balls yourself. Then you will understand how tiring it can be. So you can actually get a good workout by playing golf. The second aspect that's really appealing is the fact that you get to spend good times with your friends in the golf course. Imagine when you go into the golf course with three to four friends by the moment you exit the games you guys are gonna be good friends because you just spend three to four hours together having long chats talking about all sorts of stuff and this makes me understand why business people enjoy playing golf with their business partners because unlike other sports like let's say badminton or football where you're running all the time you you don't really get to talk to each other unless after the game but in golf you're only hitting a few 
few strokes, then you'll be chatting throughout the way when you travel to the next destination. Third, networking. This game will allow you to meet many people that you never taught yourself to be meeting. Let me just give you an example. The other day, I went to a dinner with some family friends. There was this particular uncle that I rarely actually talked to him. He's one of those director level, high level guy. Lah. We rarely have a conversation. But that day when he found out that I started playing golf, we had such a long chat throughout the dinner just talking about golf. Suddenly, we are like buddies. <laughs> so after all this, I want to invite you guys for a discussion. Do you think golf is worth investing in? If yes or no, tell us in the comments below.